Epidermolysis bullosa is an inherited connective tissue disease causing blisters in the skin and mucosal membranes, with an incidence of 1 50,000. It is a result of a defect in anchoring between the epidermis and dermis, resulting in friction and skin fragility. Its severity ranges from mild to lethal. The condition was brought to public attention in 2004 in the UK through the Channel 4 documentary The Boy Whose Skin Fell Off, chronicling the life and death of Johnny Kennedy, an Englishman with EB. In the United States, the same could be said of the HBO documentary My Flesh and Blood from 2003. Butterfly children is a term often used to describe younger patients as crystal skin children. Classification Epidermolysis bullosa refers to a group of inherited disorders that involve the formation of blisters following trivial trauma. Over 300 mutations have been identified in this condition. They have been classified into the following types, Epidermolysis bullosa simplex. Epidermolysis bullosa simplex is a form of epidermolysis bullosa that causes blisters at the site of rubbing. It typically affects the hands and feet and is typically inherited in an autosomal dominant manner, affecting the keratin genes KRT5 and KRT14. Junctional epidermolysis bullosa Junctional epidermolysis bullosa is an inherited disease affecting laminin and collagen. This disease is characterized by blister formation within the lamina lucida of the basement membrane zone and is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. It also presents with blisters at the site of friction, especially on the hands and feet, and has variants that can occur in children and adults. Less than 1 per million people are estimated to have this form of epidermolysis bullosa. Dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. Dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa is an inherited variant affecting the skin and other organs. Butterfly children is the term given to those born with the disease, as their skin is seen to be as delicate and fragile as a butterfly's wings. Dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa is caused by genetic defects within the human COL7A1 gene encoding the protein type 7 collagen. DEB causing mutations can be either autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. Other genetic, other, epidermolysis bullosa acquisitor, pathophysiology, the human skin consists of two layers, an outermost layer called the epidermis and a layer underneath called the dermis. In individuals with healthy skin, there are protein anchors between these two layers that prevent them from moving independently from one another. In people born with EB, the two skin layers lack the protein anchors that hold them together, resulting in extremely fragile skin. A euro even only minor mechanical friction or trauma will separate the layers of the skin and form blisters and painful sores. Sufferers of EB have compared the sores with third-degree burns. Furthermore, as a complication of the chronic skin damage, people suffering from EB have an increased risk of malignancies of the skin. Treatment Recent research has focused on changing the mixture of keratins produced in the skin. There are 54 known keratin genes a euro of which 28 belong to the type I intermediate filament genes and 26 to type E a euro, which work as heterodimers. Many of these genes share substantial structural and functional similarity but they are specialized to cell type and or conditions under which they are normally produced. If the balance of production could be shifted away from the mutated, dysfunctional keratin gene toward an intact keratin gene, symptoms could be reduced. For example, sulfraphane, a compound found in broccoli, was found to reduce blistering in a mouse model to the point where affected pups could not be identified visually, when injected into pregnant mice and applied topically to newborns. Current clinical research at the University of Minnesota has included a bone marrow transplant to a two-year-old child who is one of two brothers with EB. The procedure was successful, strongly suggesting that a cure may have been found. A second transplant has also been performed on the child's older brother, and a third transplant is scheduled for a California baby. The clinical trial will ultimately include transplants to 30 subjects. However, the severe immunosuppression that bone marrow transplantation requires causes a significant risk of serious infections in patients with large-scale blisters and skin erosions. Indeed, at least four patients have died in the course of either preparation for or institution of bone marrow transplantation for epidermolysis bullosa, 
out of only a small group of patients treated so far. Epidemiology, an estimated 50 in 1 million live births are diagnosed with EB, and 9 in 1 million sufferers are in the general population. Of these cases, approximately 92% are epidemolysis bullosa simplex, 5% are dystrophic epidemolysis bullosa, 1% are junctional epidemolysis bullosa, and 2% are unclassified. Carrier frequency ranges from 1 in 333 for JEB, to 1 in 450 for DEB. The carrier frequency for EBS is presumed to be much higher than JEB or DEB. The disorder occurs in every racial and ethnic group throughout the world and affects both sexes. Monitoring the epidemolysis bullosa activity and scarring index is a scoring system that objectively quantifies the severity of epidemolysis bullosa. The BDACI is a tool for clinicians and patients to monitor the severity of the disease. It has also been designed to evaluate the response to new therapies for the treatment of EB. The BDACI was developed and validated by Professor Dee Dee Murrell and her team of students and fellows at the St. George Hospital, University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. It was presented at the International Investigative Dermatology Congress in Edinburgh in 2013 and a paper-based version was published in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology in 2014. See also, Deborah, Johnny Kennedy, References. External links, Radiograph showing Epidemolysis bullosa, Gene Reviews UWNIH Entry on Epidemolysis bullosa simplex, Epidemolysis bullosa at DMOZ, Dystrophic Epidemolysis Bullosa Research Association of America.